Sachidanan Uttekar joins in with his view on uh, the market. Sachi, what do you think of uh, the way uh, the Nifty has recovered from uh, the decline yesterday? Uh, good afternoon, Mangalam. Mangalam, clearly, uh, you know, if you look at the uh, entire set, uh, the advanced decline ratio says it all. It's a very strong uh, participation and almost, uh, you know, both the indices are trading or uh, trending above the 20-day uh, exponential moving average, which were acting as a uh, resistance, uh, you know, a few days back. So clearly the surge uh, that we are seeing so far, I think this particular surge should continue, despite of the fact that we are, uh, you know, not trading tomorrow, but uh, we are expecting that this particular floor which has been established at uh, 17,340, you know, that particular floor should hold on for this particular expiry. And we are expecting that uh, this momentum should get carried forward towards 17,780. So even right now, I think uh, it, even if we get a decline in the Nifty, I think it's a good idea to, you know, create fresh long positions even at this stage. The stop loss should be placed at around 17,465 when it comes to Nifty spot. And we're expecting this surge to continue towards 17,700. 780. This is the zone where we expect the expiry to shape up. When it comes to Bank Nifty, uh, you know, very similar story. Uh, the the participation has been, uh, you know, again uh, from the financial names, and even here the data is suggesting that we may see uh, this particular swing getting extended towards 39,500, 600 kind of a zone. So even here, uh, decline should be utilized to create long positions. The stop loss should be around 38,640 for Bank Nifty. Okay, 38,640 for the bank nifty. Um, all right, what about stocks? So, and especially anything you would play within the financial space individually? Uh, well, uh, we've already participated in a lot of financial stocks uh, since morning, in fact, uh, since yesterday. But right now, there are a couple of stocks which are hitting our radar, wherein the reward to risk opportunity is brilliant, and uh, they have just displayed some fresh breakouts from the consolidation. So the first stock uh, that has been, uh, you know, dis uh, that we have uh, communicated to our clients as well is the setup of SRF. Now, if you look at the uh, daily structure, we clearly saw a double bottom kind of a formation, re-establishing the support at around 2350 and post that uh, the surge has been excellent it has managed to surpass uh, the 2500 hurdle uh, if you look at the 60 minutes charts uh, clearly there is a broadening formation uh, the upper end of this particular broadening formation is still placed at 2670 so we have enough uh, headroom to create fresh long positions here the stop loss should be placed at 2495 from here on and uh, long position should be deployed in SRF for a target of 2670 the other stock which has just hit our radar is indigo the stock was consolidating uh, consolidating well for the last four trading sessions on the weekly scale uh, there's a clear cut uh, you know rising three formation which is a continuation candlestick pattern and if you look at the daily chart you know it has managed to sustain above the 5 and 20 uh, day exponential moving average which is placed at around 1960 so again here uh, the contraction looks mature for a breakout we are seeing this particular move to extend towards 2120 in a day or so a uh, long position should be added in Indigo with a stop loss at 19.88. Hey, by the way, a lot of these auto stocks are hitting fresh 52-week highs right now. So whether it's something like an Escort, Kubota, you have m, &M that's at a fresh 52-week high. There is Bajaj Auto as well. Uh, all of these stocks have had a great run so far and now are picking up some more pace. Sachidanan, thanks a lot for joining in and have a great day.